deadlifting is awesome! But what is not awesome, however, is having to load and unload plates from the bar in order to do them. Now, most of us likely have used two and a half or five pound plates at some point in time, but that can still be tricky and can even damage the weights in the long run. Now, if your gym is legit, you might be lucky enough to have use of a deadlift jack because these make lifting and unloading the bar super easy. The problem is most gyms don't have these pieces of equipment and they can take up a good amount of space. For those looking for the benefits of a deadlift jack but aren't willing to shell out $200 or so, or simply don't have the space, Rogue's mini deadlift jack might be the perfect solution. So Rogue's Mini Deadlift Jack is a small, somewhat portable version of their standard jack. And where the standard jack lifts and supports both ends of the bar, the mini version allows you to lift one side at a time. It's made from 2x2 two two inch 11 gauge steel right here in the US of A. It also includes UHMW plastic to protect the bar's knurling and finish. And like all things from Rogue, you get a high-end finish and feel at a cost of $62.50 and a footprint of just 19 inches by four and a half inches. It's an affordable, convenient alternative. As previously mentioned, the main selling points for this jack is its form factor price and overall convenience for the job it does. The price point is relatively inexpensive when compared to other pieces of equipment. However, unlike other specialty items for deadlifting, like belts or shoes, the mini deadlift jack can be used by any Anyone, regardless of their own personal statistics. It's also nice for people who care about prolonging the life of their bars and weights. The UHMW plastic used is the same Rogue uses for their J-Cups, which will help from damaging both the jack and your barbell over time. Finally, the fact the jack raises the end of the barbell completely off the floor means that you can ensure the weights are as close to the collar as possible. When the weights are resting on the floor or another plate, most lifters will find the weights tend to move around a bit and need to be adjusted. While the size and price of the mini jack are well below that of a full-sized one, for many people it's still not ideal. So those who train at a commercial gym might find it difficult to travel with or be even skeptical about leaving it at their gym alone. There are those who also believe that using a small weight plate underneath is fine enough. An issue I had with the many deadlift jack is that the side of the barbell that is not lifted has the tendency to roll around a bit when the other side is raised, which can be annoying and distracting at the same time. But overall, for the price and form factor, the mini deadlift jack is worth looking into for anyone serious about deadlifting. Now, if you're at the point in your lifting career where you're only really deadlifting 315 pounds or less, I don't think you'd see as much benefit from it as someone who can lift twice that much. And if you have the space and budget, I'd likely suggest the full-size version before this, but either way, you're getting a solid product at a solid price.